to Marcus Faith Oval. It's me, Faith, and today I'm going to be showing y'all all my fidgets. And um, so yeah, now before I before I get started, I just want to say me and Ad you should share a lot of fidgets. Um, but you now Addie got a lot of fidgets and she's ordering way more, so we don't share anymore. So I have all my own fidgets now. And also, guys, um, this Saturday, which is in two days. Um, cause today it's, um, I think it's, uh, wait, what is it? Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Um, so I'm going Saturday when I'm really excited. And also one day I'm going to go to Walgreens. I heard they had poppets there. So I'm going to see if they still have them. But I don't really know what I said. <laughs> but, oh yeah, guys, in this video, since I'll be showing y'all all my fidgets, if you can comment down below on this video. I don't know, sometimes it doesn't work, like, or just, you can't. But if you can on this video, make sure to comment if you have any fidgets and what is your favorite fidget. So, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the pin right here. It has this really cool, like, beach wave rainbow tie-dye thing. And I got it from Target for, I think, six bucks. But I definitely recommend, and it's really fun to play with. Hey okay, guys, so now I'm going to show you one of my, actually my only homemade chest ball. And mm, I love this one so much. And it's so cool. So it's this jumbo balloon. I kind of tied it down low, though that, that kind of looks funny, with water and Orbeez. And surprisingly, the Orbeez I don't grow in here, but it's so fun to play with. And also, I had another one that has a tiny bit of water, fishbowl beads, and like foam beads. Like, I have actually one foam bead in here. If I can get it, I don't think I can get it. It's really tiny. Actually, I have a different, different one. Like, these tiny foam beads, I, a little thing popped. It wasn't this step. But then it popped, so I had to throw it away. But it wasn't that. Um, but, yes, I really like that one. Probably my favorite homemade thing, even though I only have two homemade things. Now we're going to move on to the top door. I'm going to have to scoot back a little bit, guys, because I, so I can open this all the way. First, I have this pink, of course it's pink, but it's a gumball um, stress ball, and it's really fun to play with. It has a tiny hole somewhere, but it, like, never comes out. Sorry, it's good hair on it. But it never comes out, so that's why I really like it. I think it's, like, thick material. Like, I can't even find it. I have no clue where it is. Is that it? No, it's not it. See, guys, this is a good one. Oh, there, I found it. It's that tiny dot right there. Right there. It kind of feels weird, though. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, that's my gumball stress ball. Then I have oh, another film bee. But then I have this, uh, one of my favorite chess balls. Probably is my favorite. Look, it's a purple Nido. Yeah, I love Nido so much, so I definitely love this. Oh my gosh, I could play with this for hours. Okay, then I have, let's do this one actually. My color changing Nido. I love it. It has a lot of hair on it. I don't know if I can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, no, I can't, but... Yeah, okay, it has my baby hair. So, but whenever you squeeze it, it's a yellow, and it color changes and a pink. Guys, oh. And now let's move on to my next row of stress balls. So yes, I did actually organize my fit today. So I'm trying my best not to mess them up. Then, I love this one. I traded a bike chain for it. My friend really wanted a bike chain. So I gave it to her for this. I love it. It's like a slime ball. Look at it. When it like molds really good. If you do this, I love doing that. Look at that. And like I squeeze it really good. Can you see that? And it like just come off. And it's so fun. I think it has slime in it, but it's. <laughs> I love it. Then I have this. Well, I have foam beads all over it. But it's a smiley face splat ball. I love this video so much. I got it from, I used to have an egg one that I got from Five Below. Um, but I, 
um, treated it, but yeah. So, so I got my two needles from Walmart. For I think I got both him for three dollars. Then I got my gumball from trading, and then I got a spot ball for one dollar at Walmart. And like I just said, I got that slime one for trading. Then I got this one at H E B for two dollar, not two dollars to be exact, actually two dollars and eighty eight cents. But it's really fun. I love it. It's a globby. I don't know what to call it. Globby. I think it's called a globby, but guys, it's so much fun. I love these little, little like kind of spike things. I don't know what to call them. They're super stretchy, but they're so good. They're really relaxing. And then for my last set of needles, I have these two mini needles. I used to have another one, but my dad popped in on accident because he was squeezing it really hard. I love these. They're so fun. And I got these for a on Amazon for it. I really don't remember how much, but. They're so, look at that. They're so much fun. Okay. Next, we're going to go on. Uh, actually, no, we're going to sell these last ones. Okay, then I have. And, so then I have. I'm trying to get all these bone beats off of them. Boom, boom, boom. I have this banana. Banana. Um, it's so fun though. I had this banana Orbeez dress ball, and it has like these mini Orbeez, and like we can't only really see them when you squeeze it. You can kind of see it, but they're really tiny. But I got this from Walmart for five dollars. But I definitely think I paid a really good price for it. And okay, next fidget, I have two more stress balls, and I'm done, guys. I promise. And then I have this. Pig foam one. I got it from Walmart for one dollar. And then if I really like it because look, if you squeeze it like this, and you squeeze it, twist it, and you poke it, it's so cool. I really like it. And by the way, the foam beads aren't from this either. That's actually what it's from. It's from this little guy, and he's so much fun. He's so good too. But there's a tiny hole in his feet, and the things never come out. Uh, she was doing it on purpose. So one time, the other day, I was pulling this, and I was blowing into it, making, like, big air things. I was actually trying to do one now. Like this. I'm not going to let any foam come out. And I was squeezing it. By, I was making it even bigger, guys. Like, way bigger. And I kept squeezing it. And then one time, a tiny bit of foam beads came out. I was like, oh, whatever. So I kept doing it. Then a lot of foam beads came out. Well, look how short these. So stretchy. But then a lot of foam beads came out. And, yeah. What are you going to say about that? Yeah. But there was a lot of foam beads coming out, so I just stopped. But it's really stretchy. <laughs> okay, next I have... These are my least used to I never use these. I have this mini Rubik's Cube. And you can see if you twist it, it kind of has that little hole. But yeah. And this is not good quality because you have to put, make it perfect to twist it. Like, I can't even twist it because it's not perfect. Like, I'm not joking. Perfect. And yeah, I don't like this. And I can never solve these. So yeah, you might have a different opinion for these if you can solve them. Then I don't really like these, but they're called a marble maze, I believe. So you get the marble on there. I can't really show you it. And you, there's little holes you can see. And yeah, try not to get the marble in there, but I don't really like it. I just played it for like two minutes and I'm done. Then, one of my favorites a wacky trap. I have mine. I said trap. A wacky track. But I have mine in a square, but I just took it out. But I love wacky tracks. And my locks are also connected. Look, I love it. Hi, and guys, if, also if you can comment on this video, comment if you have a walkie track and if you ever made a snap it or a snapper. I don't know what to call it. Out of them, guys. This, if you have, if you haven't tried that, I definitely recommend trying it. They're so much fun to make. Okay, and I'm gonna put it back in its rectangle shape so i'm gonna do that in time lapse 
Okay, so just play it until it's um like rectangle shape, rectangle. But now I am going to do snake. Okay, so now I love snakes. There's so much fun to play with too. But I used to not like this when I first got it. I don't really know the meaning, but now I love these so much. But um, these are the regular size. My friend has a jumbo, but yeah, it's really cool. So I'm gonna also do this in time lapse of me trying to figure out how to put this back. I can never figure out how to put these back. Bye, wolf snakes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I just straightened out. Now I'm gonna show you my last thing in my top drawer. I had no clue what I was trying to say. But it is, Jermo, please, my orange massive pop tube. Or should I say regular size? I love pop tubes so much. They're so much fun to play with. And they make a really, really cool noise. But, okay. So I had a mini one, um, a mini blue one, and I tried to my friend for this one for my mini one. Because she, oh, that noise, but she really wanted a mini one, and she had two jumbo ones, like, well, the regular size, I should say, two of these, but she, she, so she traded me these, and also, guys, I got my Wacky Track and Snake on Amazon, and my Rubik's Cube, and my, like, little marble maze, um, in a fidget pack. And my friend got these things from Five Bullets. She got a three pack. And it was probably five bucks. Man. But, so guys, um, now we are going to be doing Why Is That Light So Bright? Okay. Now we are going to be doing my second drawer. So, first I am going to do a video of me showing you all my mochis because I do not want to take those out. Here's my mochis. So first I have this really cute little bear, blue bear one. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then I have this really cute um, pig one, I think. Yeah, it's really cute. This one is kind of weird shape. It's supposed to be like a bunny, but the ears kind of look weird. But it's not really squishy, so I definitely, it's not on my top three. Then I have this cute glow-in-the-dark bear. It's really cute. Um, what is it called? Oh, yeah. Tiger. Okay, next row. Then I have this adorable chick. I ran over it, so it's really kind of dirty. Then I have this really cute glow-in-the-dark um, squirrel. Then I have my, one of my, my top one favorite um. It's a glow in the dark paw. Guys, it's so much fun. I'm like, oh, I love it so much. And put that back. Then my last one I have my unicorn one. So I got this one. This one. If I can fix it. This one and this one. And a five below pack. Um, came with two more, but I traded them. Then I got, and by the way, it was three, no, four dollars for that five pack. Then I got this one, this one, and this one, and a fidget pack. Then I got this one, this one, and this one from Walmart for one dollar. I got these two for one dollar. I had a fish one, so I got this one and a fish one for one dollar. So yeah, those are all my mochis and all their prices. Okay, so I was going to say, whenever I was prices, I meant everywhere that I got them in some prices. But yeah, now I'm going to show you my ASMR bars. So, I have this really cool button one. I love it so much. And it has all different types of buttons on it. Then I have this one. I used to have like this one that was really hard to move. I don't really like it. So I traded it for this one. I love doing this though. My nails. This one, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'll just do one. They lift it up all the way, it goes all the way to right here, and then you push it down, and it's really, really fun. Okay, so this next thing, it isn't mine. My friend left it at my house, but I just wanted to show you. 
I'll show you it because I think it's really cool. It's an ASMR pod, and I'm going to get one at Walmart. I couldn't find them last time, but I figured out with the pack that's like text, I'm going to get some. But this one, it has a little like circle thing, it has these four marbles, and you're supposed to just like tip it over and shake it around, and it all goes down to the bottom. See? And you flip it over again and shake it around. And you keep doing it over and over again. And it's really fun, guys. Oh my gosh. I could play this for ages. Okay, <laughs> now we had my fidget pad. So I love fidget pads so much. Um, they're just like so much stinking fun. And I definitely recommend, if you don't already have one, to get one. Because like you can do so much fun things. Like there's a lot of texture. Like this thing, I, I, I didn't notice this till the other day. It actually has a spring. Can y'all see that? No, you can't really see it, but I love it. Okay, then, if you also, if you can comment on this video, comment, please comment down what this is. I have no clue what this is. It's kind of fun, but yeah, I have no clue what to do with it, too. Yeah. Then I had this, like, puzzle diamond. I, I called it puzzle diamond. It has these diamond shapes. So, yes, and it's so fun to play with. Um, but the puzzle is you kind of find one that pokes out. The blue one, if I can get it, it's kind of hard. The blue one, oh my gosh, it's really hard to do, but <laughs> I'm gonna make a weird face. Okay, there, the blue one pops out. And this are this is not the best fitted toy, I would say, because like. I don't know if the other ones can pop out, but we're going to have to figure out someday. Then, I don't think this is technically a fidget, but this is a num num. I have way more, but I don't know where they are. They're so fun. that They're like a squishy kind of, like, kind of like a mochi, but like hollow on the inside. They're so cute. This one is like a food one. It has like ice cream on it and little crackers. It's a little bite. It's so cute. And then I have these mini fidget spinners one of the first ever fidgets but i have this yellow regular one and then i have this money blue one okay so then i'm going to show you my one of my favorites my infinity cube okay guys i'm getting a lot more fitted off of amazon and sheen i know crazy sheen but yeah and then I have these two marble and mesh, or marble mesh, whatever you want to call it. I love these. I mean, I saw a video where this girl could take these out. I have no clue how to take them out. Like, how do you do that? But I love these. I have this color, which is like red, this very light blue and a green. Then I have this medium light blue, a big, this medium light blue right there, a darker blue, like right here. See, I want to see because of the camera. It's way better in person. And a red. And I love these so much. I've been playing them forever. And they're also really good for school, but they're very quiet. And then, guys, I have these bike chain. You heard me, bike chain. I still have another bike chain, even though I trade one of mine. But I love this bike chain so much. It's so much fun. It's also kind of cold, but yeah. <laughs> Just to pop out. And then I have this little yellow thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's, I used to have a bigger one. It's kind of like harder spikes. But I have no clue where it went. I kind of lost it. But this is so fun. That actually was my first fidget. Not that one. But the other one that I found. And then I have this one. It's kind of stretchy. And it's really fun to play with. And it's kind of sticky out. I love just right through. What am I saying? I love just like rolling it in my hands. And then also. If you throw it at a wall. Like if I, I don't have anything to throw it at. But. It'll, oh, it'll stick to your finger, like, extra grip. But if you throw it at a wall, it will literally just swat on, like, it's walking on the wall. And also, look, 
How's it going now? Uh, that feels so good. Okay, now I have these monkey noodles, but I'm gonna show y'all that in a separate video so I don't mess them up. Here, oh, sorry, here are my monkey noodles. I have this yellow regular sized one, or you could say jumbo. I don't know what to call it. Then I have this same one, but pink. There's too many ones. I ran over this one. Um, yeah. But I have a green one and a really fun blue one. My favorite one's probably the blue one. I don't know why. It's just so much fun. Okay, so let's do the third door and, okay, the last door. So first, one of my favorites. Actually, probably my favorite. No, probably my dimple's my favorite. But my simple dimple. I love this one so much. I'm definitely going to get more whenever I get a Learning Express. But, guys, I can play with this for hours. Hours! But I also have this keychain that came with it, but I took it off because I didn't really like it a lot. It's really good, though. But I didn't really want it a lot because it kept irritating me whenever I was popping it. Then... I have this homemade civil dimple. It's kind of hard though. Eh, it's really stiff. Ugh. But don't ever like put it like close to your chin or anything, like in your hand, because whenever you pop it, it'll hurt. Also, I haven't got all the bristles out. Maybe when I get all the bristles out, I'll feel better. I'm probably don't know right now. Yeah, I can't do that. But it's kind of good on the good side. Could dish. It's a good side, but it's still definitely not my favorite thing. And then I have one of my favorite, my dimple. I love this dimple so much. Like a flip. I like looking at the back when people pop it. So much fun, guys. But I love this. It's, I said it's one of my favorite videos. But that, by the way, this is a good thing. I definitely recommend this. Isn't it isn't the real brand? It's like a knockoff. It's not a knockoff. It's like a like someone like a fake brand. I just made one of these, but it's really good. I'm also getting another one that looks just like the real brand, but it's not the real brand. So I'm gonna get all my puppets on the good side, and I'll show you all my puppets. By the way, I have three, but I'm getting more, of course. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got, oh my gosh, that light. All my puppets on the good side. So first, I'm going to show you this really cool purple script one. Now, I don't really know which one is my favorite, but I definitely like this one. It has a super good good side, and it has a really good noise. Like, look at this. It has a super good noise, too, and it's a really pretty color. So I definitely, definitely like this one. Okay, guys, I literally just messed up my video so bad trying to pop it on the good side. Okay, let's fix this. But now I have this rainbow circle one. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price. Um, Oh, so, so my video spinner is kind of fitted back. Then I've got in like 2018, these, this ball and that, uh, like this ball. I got in fitted pack, fitted pad, fitted pack, monkey doodles with the big ones, fitted pack, mini ones trading, this thing, fitted pack. Friend gave this one to me. Trading, my back pin, my back pin. And then monkey, not monkey noodles, what? Um, what is it called? Then I got my, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, guys. What's it called? Oh, yeah, my Marble and Mesh at uh, Infinite Pack. Infinity Cube and Infinite Pack. My Fitted Spinners and Infinite Pack. I don't know if I did it or not. And then I got all my ASMR bars in um, at Walmart. I think you get the one, each one for one or three bucks. Then I got my Simple Dimple for $7 on Amazon. Homemade one, homemade seven number I traded for. Um, dimple, 11 bucks. Pop it, eight bucks. And then I got this one for eight bucks too. And it's my rainbow circle one. And I love this so much. And I, it's so much fun. I got this one and everything in my last drawer. Like all my pop toys except 
he um, Holy Thumb and the Book of Age created that I got from Amazon. But guys, I love this poppet. It's so colorful, first of all, and it has a good side on both sides of this. is like the extra loud and extra good side. Okay. And I'm going to show you my uh, poppet. If they have poppets at Walgreens, I'm definitely going to get those. And because of where my, actually, my friend gave this to me, she got that, this one from Walgreens. And then, yeah. So, yeah, and I'm also going to see if they have them at Target. Because I know they have it there. I just can't. And then we're going to the right section. So, that's me. But then, also, I... What was it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm daydreaming. And then I'm also going to get some Matt Lennon Express. So, then I have first... Why did I say first? So I have this really cute pink, blue, and white tie-dye flower. I didn't know they made these until my friend gave it to me. But I love it so much. So it kind of reminds me of the, um, of like a mini circle poppet. So yeah, I definitely really like that. But yeah, guys, that's all my fidgets. And like I said, I'm going to Walgreens. And I can't talk about this. I am going to Walgreens. I'm going to make best. I'm going to probably go to Walmart too some one day. And I'm going to get these. I want this one. I want one of these so bad. They're so much fun. But yeah, so I'm not going to do any shopping hauls, but I definitely will. So everything I get when I get back, especially from Monday and Express. Probably not from Walmart or where Walking is, but definitely from Monday and Express. Love you all so much. And thanks for watching. Bye.